Science and Technology in Agriculture Science and technology are key to how we are able to produce enough food to feed a fast-growing population on about the same amount of land. Please study the chart on the next slide and note how, since 1960, the production of food has grown even though the amount of available farmland has barely increased. Global Food Production, Population, and Agricultural Land Use Between 1960 and 2010, the amount of land being farmed only marginally increased by about 10 to 15 percent. The human population more than doubled. The output of food more than tripled. In 1798, it had been predicted by Thomas Malthus that the rapid growth of human population could not be sustained due to the limited availability of land. This theory was accepted by many at the time and since then. However, Innovation, due to science and technology, was not only able to keep up with population growth, it actually produced more food per person, reducing world hunger. Science and technology also explain how 27% of the world's population, about 2 billion people, can produce enough food for the remaining 73%, or 6 billion people. In the past, a far higher percentage of the population had been devoted to producing food. The more deeply science and technology support agriculture, the more productive the land and the fewer the number of farmers needed to generate that productivity. Technological advances. Throughout history, agriculture has been a key element of most human communities. Initially, it was incredibly labor intensive, requiring a large effort by most of the family and community. A high percentage of the human population was devoted to agriculture. Over time, Technology has increased agricultural efficiency and productivity so that the rapidly growing human population could be fed by a small percentage who farm. That began the evolution of better hand tools, a process that goes back beyond recorded history and can only be explored through archaeology. While the process of improving hand tools has continued, later in history that was combined with the development and evolution of animal and human powered machines. Since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, around 1760 AD, both of those have been combined with the development and evolution of engine and motor-powered machines, devices powered by fuel or electricity. Advanced machines and tools dramatically increase the output of the land while reducing the labor required. Mechanization. The use of farm machinery and tools improves production by making work easier and faster. Examples of modern machines include tractors, plows, harrows, harvesters, milking machines, incubators, and processing machines. These machines replace or supplement human and animal powered devices as well as hand tools like machetes, hoes, shovels, etc. Modern machinery requires an investment of capital. Loans from the federal and state government support much of this investment. The cost of paying back those loans relies on the additional revenue due to increased production and or the savings due to reduced labor cost. Purchasing the most advanced technology is not always the best answer. Progress has continued in the improvement of hand tools, human and animal powered machines, and motor and engine powered machines. All of these categories of devices are continuously being improved. Which of these a farmer should purchase depends on whether a more expensive device provides enough added net income from increased production and reduced labor cost to offset the costs of purchasing the device, the energy to drive it, and the loans needed to purchase it. A number of government and government-related agencies support farmers with this. Some of these include the National Agency for Engineering Infrastructure, the Project Development Institute, the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, the Raw Materials Research and Development Council, the National Board for Te Technology Incubation, and the National Office for Technology Acquisition and Promotion. Advanced machinery like the combines shown here makes sense if there are large crops to be harvested on a lot of land. Harvesters for cassava and other tubers range from large, complex, self-powered machines to smaller devices to attachments for tractors. The proper choice depends on the variety of crops and the amount of land. These two corn threshers 
show how devices can range from small hand-powered to large gas-powered. One is not better than the other. The choice depends on the size of the crop and all the related costs. These are critical decisions for farmers. The impact of science and technology beyond mechanization. The impact science and technology has made to the below fields will be briefly addressed in the following slides. Control of pests and diseases, soil texture and chemistry, transportation and communication, information and communications technology, crop storage, water supply, breeding, and genetically modified organisms. As in mechanization, the farmer must decide what level of technology that makes sense for their farm, weighing the costs and benefits of more advanced technology. Control of pests and diseases. The control of pests and diseases is essential to agriculture. Ongoing scientific research has developed treatments for each of these plights. Fungi, bacteria, viruses, and pests. Science and technology have resulted in many chemicals such as insecticides, fungicides, nematicides, fumigants, and herbicides that work against these enemies, preventing crop failure. Soil texture and chemistry. Science has developed a deeper understanding of the mechanical and chemical properties of soil. Modern technology allows for the rapid testing of soil pH as well as other chemical attributes. The mechanical attributes of soil can be determined by sedimentation, capillarity, and moisture holding capacity tests. Using these tests, farmers can better match crops to soil and or augment soil to better match a desired crop. Scientific knowledge of the families of crops allows farmers to rotate crops between crop families so as to replenish rather than exhaust nutrients. Transportation and communication. Transportation is critical to moving resources to where they are needed and moving harvested crops to markets. Production inputs like seeds, chemicals, and equipment need to be transported to farms while harvested crops need to be transported to markets. Science and technology have led to our modern transportation system based on modern vehicles traveling on roads, railways, and canals. Communication keeps farmers informed about market prices, weather events, the latest developments in agricultural science, transportation schedules, etc. The telecommunications revolution means that a farmer located anywhere in the world can be aware and up to date on the most current information. This is a tangible application of science and technology towards improving agricultural productivity. Information and communications technology. ICT revolutionizes work on the farm by providing farmers access to inexpensive, powerful tools for planning and operating their business. Accounting programs simplify all the steps needed to manage their books, apply for loans, or analyze financial metrics. Global Position Systems, or GPS, allow farmers to know the location of their livestock and equipment. Telecommunications allow farmers to buy equipment and resources and sell their crops remotely without having to travel to markets. Crop Storage Once harvested, crop yields can be reduced due to inadequate storage. Modern solutions address the need for cost-effective, convenient storage that preserves crops from various threats from weather, pest, bacteria, viruses, etc. The Nigerian Stored Products Research Institute works with farmers to ensure them the best storage solutions. The result is that farmers can store crops for a longer time, ensuring they receive the best price. Water Supply Modern irrigation techniques result in more water being delivered to crops with less loss to evaporation. Those irrigation techniques are discussed elsewhere in this course, but it's relevant to note here that they are the result of science and technology. Since natural water may not always be sufficient, science and technology increase the supply of water through boreholes, deep wells, and water reservoirs created by dams. This increases the amount of land available for farming and extends the growing season. The 12 largest reservoirs created by dams in Nigeria store 12 billion cubic meters of water and cover 150,000 hectares. The Oyan River Dam in Ogun State has a capacity of 270 million cubic meters and covers an area of 4,000 hectares. This could only be accomplished by the direct application of science and technology to supply farmers needed water for irrigation. 
Scientific Selective Breeding Livestock and crops are both improved through scientific breeding techniques. Selective breeding has been done for many hundreds of years, but was further refined due to Mendel's work in the research that ensued. That provided selective breeding of crops and livestock a more scientific basis. The result has been the ability to better adapt livestock and crops to local conditions and to better resist disease. Genetically modified organisms. More recently, the ability to directly modify the genetic makeup of crops have yielded additional gains. The result has been genetically modified organisms, or GMOs. While controversial, a primary goal of GMOs is to make crops immune to pesticides and insecticides so that those can be used to better effect against pests and fungal, viral, and bacterial infections. In some cases, GMOs enhance some positive aspect of a crop in terms of durability during storage and transit or increased yield. Research and Development Institutions have been established within Nigeria to do research and development technology to support farmers by studying and understanding the major problems they face. Agricultural research institutes play major roles in the application of science and technology to develop new ways of practicing agriculture and thereby improving production. For instance, the Agricultural Machinery Development Institute assists in the development of machinery needed for improved agricultural productivity. The Ward-based Technology Cluster helps deploy technology to nearly 10,000 political wards in Nigeria.